so if you have a paper portfolio and if you want to share your learning with other people in some other countries, you have to go on a plane with it and go to the other country and show it to the people. But if you have a if you have a kid blog, the people if they have an iPad, they can just see your learning and then and then take the, the iPad off and then they have they they see your learning without going in a plane and asking you or because it's easier to show your parents your learning and because you don't really get to bring home your portfolio usually. And the good thing about portfolios is that the portfolios it's easier to get into it and put stuff on it, but for kids blog it's hard to get on because it's a big password, then you have to put your you have to put your name and your passcode and then you have to say what it is and then you have to take a photo or put the photo on. It's really hard. I like my blog because lots of people can see what we've been doing this year. I want to talk about comments. For comments, you can't comment on your portfolio because you can't just write down on the portfolio. Steady, go. I want to talk about comments for your... For your portfolio, no, you can't write on your portfolio or ruin your work. But you can comment on your kids' blog because it's a comment or no comment if no one has commented it or when comment to comment. And then everyone can check and reply.